Hi everyone, this is Dawn Marie with Creative DME Designs. And about a week ago, I took a one day class with Happy Paper People with Mary Ann. And uh, we made a journal out of 49 and Market Academia and um, some of their instant uh, or I call them instant um, binders and binder clips and notebooks and uh, covers. So, however, I took it a step further and I um, not only used academia, which is, this is all I have left from it. Um, I also used some vintage library from Stamperia. And I'm gonna put these over here so you don't have to see them. And I used a uh, 1954 Chancellor, which is University Duke University's um, yearbook. So you can see here that I've pulled a lot out. I had used it for something else before. But I did want to make um, the journal we were making in the class just a little bit more themed than um, exactly like everybody else was making it. And if you know me, that's usually what I like to do anyway. So this is the outside of the journal. I'm trying to make sure that you guys can see it. I may pull it down just a little more because we needed it up for that there. Okay, so this was the front and this is one sheet of paper and um, then you put on the little um, door and you start adding things. A lot of the stuff on top here are um, rub-ons. 49 and Market have amazing rub-ons. So if you're looking for that, you should go to them. Um, I ended up putting some ink on the inside of this because when you open doors, you don't want to see white doors um, so that you can open that and see what's inside. I have my little owl there. This is uh, this was one of the sayings on the inside of the library. Um, inside of the sorry, the yearbook, the ivy twine. So I figured I could name it with that. This was also on the inside of the um, journal. Uh, on the yearbook, excuse me. So I cut it out and put it on the back. And I just think that that's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. The colors are amazing. I did flip this down and you will see how that works in a minute. So that rubber band right there holds in this little notebook. Uh, we'll do that second, but I'm going to take the rubber band off just because it I'll make it easier. Um, I'm going to pull this this way because we're going to go over this first. This is their um, two hole punch holder. And it's really easy to use. Once again, this is 49 and Market. Um, this black cover came all by itself. And then you add the pieces onto it. So what I did here, um, it also came with a, a pocket notebook. This came with a pocket notebook and I actually cut it in half so this would have a front and a back cover. Also you can see as um, what I did is I put the contents of the um, yearbook on the inside cover of this. That was not what we were supposed to do but I did it. Um, okay. So these are pictures. Oh, I don't know why that got there. Pictures, obviously, of, of people who were there that year. And actually, I put some pictures in here of people I thought looked like people I knew. Like I think this one right here looks like my sister-in-law Jennifer. Um this uh was a, you know, at the back of a yearbook, they have people who have given money for ads. And this is a pocket that you can put things in. I made mine, instead of making it a book for pictures, I made mine into more like a journal. So I added this right here so people could journal on it. Um, a lot of these are, once again, the rub-ons. 
Um, I had this washi tape that I absolutely love that's actually getting worse and worse every year. Like some of the black is coming off on the other side when you pull it. And it's for the um, chemicals. So I put that there. And then on the back of each page are these places to write. Now, the reason why this is here is because I had to cut this out right here in order to make that fit on the page. So um, this is, they were building a new part of Duke that year. So I found that and that's a place, and this is a, um, this is a famous building on Duke's campus. And these, a lot of this is add on with those, with those rub ons. Um, this, you could actually tuck something in. That's part of their, their paper packages. This one right here is two little flips. We've got Mr. Owl there, Mr. Owl on the back. Um, this is interesting. I put a tag on here. Some of them I left the instructions or what it was on and some of them I just took them off. Um, so you can see that. And then if you follow this, it goes around and it's actually the pen that goes into the ink vials on the back or ink bottles. Um, this is how they used to have to watch events in um, the swimming pool area. They were up on little things, which is something just doesn't happen anymore. So I thought that was an interesting thing. Um, put some in here. This kid right here looks a heck of a lot younger than some of the other ones there. <laughs> um, this looks like a girl I went to high school with, so I put that in. This looks like um, somebody who adopted a dog from me. So, um, yeah, I put some things in here that look like people that, um, <laughs> I don't know, they looked familiar to me. So this one right here, um, I made into a flip. And you can write in here. This one sort of looks like my mom, I thought. And this is the back page of that. And this was another one of the uh, ads in there. And I did cover some of the faces, but there was a lot of pages of people in there, a lot. Okay, and you already saw that. So the next part of it is this, which is the notebook. And it comes, it doesn't have this black part on it. And um, it wasn't even to me, obviously. So what I did is I um, added some more of that washi tape with the minerals and stuff on it. And this was... Um, something that I took from Vintage Library, I believe, and this was one of the rub-ons that um, 49 and Market had. So we open it and on the inside here, more people, which I think is really cool. Like, like I said, I started seeing some of these people and seeing people that I know in them and their faces. So if any of you actually had anybody go to Duke, let me know, because it might actually be a family member. Um, when good friends get together, I found, um, you know, this and, you know, beer, because at that age, anybody here would have been drinking beer, um, even if they were freshmen. And this says, this, this, come out and play with me, which was another one of the um, headers on one of the pages. And um, this color right here, it's sort of blue and brown. I had to find something to match, to tie everything together. And that paper right there actually got the Duke blue in with the colors that were more um, fall-like in uh, in the 
educate in the in the pack from 49 and market. Uh, this is a picture from a magazine that I have found. It was a typewriter. I thought it was really cool. I made little, this right here is typing paper um, that has the numbers on it. So you knew how many lines you had typed back when you actually had to learn how to type on a typewriter. Um, I made little things here for them to come out. Once again, this one's a little book. Um, so this shows how many pockets I put in it. And then this one, um, I actually glued all of these down, but there is a thing in here. Once again, another one of the um, titles in the yearbook. And I also used a stencil on this that was a typewriter. And some of the extra typewriter paper because they all would have been typing on typewriters. Um, not necessarily, <laughs> they didn't have computers back then. This is the entertainment page. So any but theater and stuff like that. Uh, this was their theater for the year, the what they used for musical theater. And that looks like Bullwinkle. <laughs> and uh, this guy, I, I guess eventually, um, ended up going to Hollywood. There was a big write-up. You can see I put something over it there. Um, and then I made these flips right here so that you would be able to write on each one of them. So, and once again, I took the words from some of the things and it says we could make believe. And you could write on each one of those. And that is another picture from a from a um, magazine that was like the opening of the stage. And then this was, I took this from the music. Um, I've got rhythm once again. I, some of these words just made drew me to what the what they needed to be done on the pages. I've got rhythm. I hear music. Um, there is a little tag in this one. And the jazz band was known as the Duke Ambassadors. I don't know if it still is. Um, this was the men's choir. Um, this is just some place to write on. This one flips down and you have a couple pages in there. So you can also read about the Duke Ambassadors um, and their singer. Okay, this one, once again, another page from a magazine and I love this picture and I just think that it's it's a beautiful set like this but what else was I going to put on it so I made um two little books this one opens like that that slides there's two tickets here and you slide them between them like that and this has just pages from the um like where people live and you can just write over this in a different color um ink and it works um, or you could get some white gesso or you could put paper over it. I just didn't, I wanted to leave it like that so you could sort of look and see if anybody you know might have been in there. And they just slide in these, almost like belly bands. And this one doesn't have a closure. This is just a plain one. And this paper right here is from um, Vintage Library from Stamperia which is an Italian company and I love it. Uh, this, I had to do some some uh, sports. I couldn't make it all, you know, arts people. So apparently this year, the Duke football team only had one loss and they won some sort of trophy for that. Um, these are all of their wins. Um, I did Duke in their color and then I made the color of whoever they were playing here. Each one of these open up and have writing spots on them. But of course, I did football, so I had to have the cheerleaders and the band there because football is just not football. There are other people who enjoy it. And this is for my friends who like Duke basketball, which I know my friend um, Mary Grace loves basketball. So this was also a banner year for their basketball team because two of them um, won awards. Um, 
This is a little pocket here with stuff to write on. And you can pull that out. And I tried to use a lot of the deep blue for this. This is a, um, a flip up and it has um, old, well, kids writing paper. It's not old, I just got it you know, recently, but with different things there. So you could still write on those pages. Um, this one right here um, is like, you know, in the back of the page, they would have the people's names. Um, so I took the pages mm -hmm. of the people's names and made a pocket over here and a pocket over here. You can see that I'll take all of these out so you can see that they're all there. A whole bunch of names, which I thought was sort of cool. Um, so I did freshmen, sophomore, juniors. Um, and then this is just a little card with orange and blue. And this right here is a big card, but it has extra pockets on it. There's a pocket here, pocket here, pocket here. And then on the back, you can write on that one and that goes in that pocket. Um, this was actually um, the group who did the yearbook. Um, I liked it because it had it brings forth the um, typewriter again. And this is just a bunch of little mm. pieces that I needed to use um, or I didn't use. So I put them in here so that you could pull them and add them on to places if you wanted to whoever buys this or gets it. Um, and then of course we have all kinds of pockets with things on it. So we're coming to the last page, which of course was the student directory, something about graduation. So there's a picture from graduation. And then you had the ads. So I did put ads a uh, vintage Pepsi Cola ad from the company in Durham. Um, and then some, some other ones of places that are still in the area. Um, I love that this was called the Oriental Restaurant. <laughs> um, the cafe, I don't think that this is around anymore. Um, and then this was Cary Lumber Company and it's on Milton Avenue, which was my maiden name, so I had to put it in for that. But check out the phone number. It's 2-163 two, two or 161. Can you imagine having a phone number with just four numbers? That's crazy. Um, and then I put two on this side. Um, and then this was an ad for the Durham Morning Herald, which no longer exists. Um, and I just thought it was funny that somebody had actually drawn that up and they put it in the yearbook. And the Durham Sun it does not exist. Once again, the back page with people's pictures on it. I think this looks like somebody I went to high school with. So yeah, I made sure I grabbed people that would look like that. And once again, there's the back. So this goes right here and you just throw the big, huge monster. I was going to call it a band-aid, but no rubber band on it and you close it. And there is my Duke vintage journal. And I just want to thank 49 and market for these wonderful tools that I used to make these with and papers. I love Stamperia. They're one of my favorite papers, especially because they're from Italy. And I wanna thank um, Happy Paper People for letting me join in the class and allow me to go a little bit further and not do exactly what the class was doing. So um, once again, this is Dawn Marie with Creative DMA Designs. And I want to thank you. If anybody's interested in this, please let me know. Um, I will see you guys later and have a great day. Bye.